what you'll need for today's craft is a baking pan, some oven baked clay. I got mine from Sculpey on Amazon. Black and white, so I'm gonna do black and white marble. And then you're going to need a rolling pin. I'm using an old olive oil jar to roll out the clay. You're gonna need a cookie cutter. I don't have any of those, so I'm gonna use a mason jar. And this is about the size of the coaster that I'm going to make. And then also to finish it off, you're gonna want some liquid leaf gold. And this will just put a nice finish on the edges. And to apply that, you can use a small paintbrush. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a clean surface to work on. Next, open up your clay. I have black clay and white. Now I'm going to break these apart into smaller pieces and roll them out into snake-like figures. Now grab your rolling pin, if you have a rolling pin, or your glass bottle, and roll out these little chunks of clay that are all twisted together like so. Doesn't matter really how you do it, you want it to be organic, so just kind of twist and squeeze them together and then form them into somewhat of a spherical or circular shape like this. And then we'll roll them out flat and see how they turn out. Halfway through this process, I found that it works better if you kind of put it into a ball shape and smear around some of the clay to get some more organic shapes. And then crunch it into a ball and then roll it out with your rolling pin. The oven is preset to 275, so I'm going to put them in. Okay, so the coasters came out of the oven and they look great. These are the marbled coasters. And the way you can tell if they're done is if you press your fingernail into the bottom, it's gonna leave a mark, but it's not going to actually enter or penetrate the clay. So that's how you know if your clay is done. So these are all of mine that came out. This one I think is my favorite. It's like the most funky. Um, so now we're on to our last step. We're going to take these coasters, we're going to apply some gold liquid leaf to the end. And this is just like paint almost that dries looking like gold. And so we're going to put a nice gold rim on all of them using this smaller paintbrush for that. So I finished putting the gold leaf on all the coasters, so now they're sitting on elevated surfaces such as bottle caps or vases like this one to dry. And so this is what they will look like in the end. The gold on the edges, the marble, black and white in the middle, and you can put your cups on them.